Me and Erica here hey. on the way to the mall. So I guess our topic is going to be fatherhood. Eric's a dad now. December 15th, 4.30 a.m. He had a little girl. We haven't decided on the name yet, but yeah. she's here. <laughs> so, how's fatherhood, Eric, so far? How do you feel? Um, I'm still pretty nervous. You know, it's uh, the second day I've been a father, you know. Uh, I'm happy she's healthy. You know, Things are looking pretty good now. Uh, yeah, things are looking pretty good. I'm just looking forward to, you know, memories to come. And me just being there, providing and protecting her. Making sure she gets everything she needs. Yeah, she's going to be spoiled, I already know. Yeah, we know that, yeah. <laughs> but, so, what was the... What was the reaction when you knew she was about to be born? Um, I was nervous. I uh, I didn't know uh, <clears throat> how to feel. I was like, I was happy. I was anxious. I was just, I was ready to see her. Wonder what, what, like how she was gonna come out. You know, like was she gonna like her mom? Was she gonna like me? But well, she looks like me, by the way. Yeah, she does. <laughs> That's like so. Sure. Yeah, but. I was just, I was nervous. I'm still nervous. Just a little bit. Not as much as I was, but I am. So, did you get a chance to do fed her yet, did you? Yep, I did. I fed her uh, the first day she came. Yeah. I fed her most of that time because uh, her mom was resting still. Yeah. And uh, the second day, she was with her mom most of the time. But uh, I was able to feed her a little bit, a little bit more. But... Yeah, I'm, like I said, I've just, I just been there trying to help as much as I can and learn as much as they go by. December 18th. Yep, so. So how do you think your schedule is gonna change when you when she gets home? What do you think your sleep schedule is gonna be like? Well, I already know when she first gets here, it's not gonna, my sleep schedule is gonna be uh, all out of order. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna be there to uh, do what I can for her. Make sure she grows up and she get one like once she gets older and gets like onto the actual safe schedule, mm -hmm. then it'll be a little easier. But right now, we're just making sure she's uh getting everything she needs, yeah, and making sure she's you know fed right and everything. I can't wait till the spring and summer when we could grab her and uh put her in that car seat. I'm like, let's go, yeah, I can't wait. We're to going you. to the zoo, we're going to the children's museum, we're gonna have a good time. Yeah, we're gonna <clears throat> just go go out and just you know just do stuff. Just have a just have a fun time. How do you think Marcus and Michaela feel? They're both they're both. Uh, Michaela, I know she was surprised. Yeah, she's really happy. She was so excited <laughs> to hold her. And then I know uh, Marcus. He was like, "Wow, Eric's his father. Yeah, Older brother's his father. You're a dad." Yes. So yeah, I think it was both. Uh, both excited. I was talking to Marcus yesterday. He was uh, still thinking how he is an uncle now. He's been an uncle, but you know, he's like, it's... It's, it's different because yeah. it's like you guys are closer. Yeah. And we have the same mom. And it's like, I don't know, it's a little different. You know. So. Yeah, they're not a, they're happy. They're excited. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Turn right in front of me. Hmm. Good 
good thing I was paying attention. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pause this because I'm gonna pull on the side. They've been cussed him out. Hold on. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Had to cuss a lady out. <laughs> but um, let's talk about Christmas. What does Christmas mean to you, Eric? What does Christmas mean to me? <laughs> today, just some different people out here today. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, what does Christmas mean to you? Christmas means to me happiness. Mm -hmm. Like when I think of Christmas, I think of everybody being around each other. You know, every family, like all the family members, just together, uh, celebrating, just being around each other, being alive for all these crazy times. Like, there's a lot of family that. That we usually don't speak to. Yeah. That never comes around, and then when Christmas time comes, it's like you finally get a chance to, and you go throughout the whole year just for that one day or those couple of days. And it should be that way all the time. You should be speaking with your loved ones all the time. And so many people that I've known personally that have passed away this year. That it's crazy, and it's like back to back. One was a personal friend of mine. I've known her over 20 years and she's the cousin of one of my best friends and she was 46 she died of cirrhosis of the liver and it's like she didn't have any kids she was married but no kids and it's like I could to think back of the fun times we used to have and things we used to do I would have never thought she'd be gone like that um sad. I don't know. The nurse I used to work with, she passed. One of my husband's good friends, he passed. It's like back to back to back. And I don't know what it is about the holidays. People like pass like crazy. I don't know. I don't know but it's scary because it's starting to be the people that I actually know. That's the crazy part. Uh, the girl I'm talking about, I looked through my phone and the last time she called me was March of this year. And she left me a video uh, message. And I was like, wow, and I feel bad. I never returned her call. And it's like, dang, you know, I, you know, a few, few months later, she's not here. But that's what I say, people. We got to do better. When it comes to your family, no matter what the situation is, there's nothing too big to where you can't forget each other and move forward. Nobody's ever going to always get along, but your family come first. Because once they're gone, they're gone. So, anyway, yeah, Christmas is a the season where people come together. That's why I think I like it. It makes me feel good. Because I like to make people happy. What's the one thing you want for Christmas? The material thing. That's the material thing? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, it was a couple of them. But I just go off just the three main ones I wanted. One material thing. I like, ever since I was young, I always like, I always wanted like, those. I wanted a letterman. Oh, the jacket. Yeah, like from, from school. High school. And not even from that, like when I was younger, I had this game, some people might know it. It was a called, the game was called Bully from the, uh, from the Rockstar that. Games. Didn't you get that recently? Hey, like, I got the game, but I, I'm like the, the clothing on there. Like I liked it, cause it was like, <clears throat> it was like a, uh, it was like school. So you was able to uh, have on, you like put on their polo and have like the little design on it. Yeah. Little polo. Like, I wanted like the Letterman or like the Bullworth Academy and stuff, like, with Jimmy Hopkins and stuff. That was one thing. My second thing was, it was always like, like one Gucci or a Ferragamo belt. Mm -hmm. I've been talking about that since freshman forever. year of my uh, high since, school year. Since ever. Yeah, forever. <laughs> I always wanted one, but I, I always looked at that price and I was like, I can't get that. That's too much. So it was always something for me. I was going to work to get it like later on, but I never got a chance to get it. 
And uh, my last thing, now I know everybody has their uh, own idea and opinions of shoes, but the shoes I always wanted were yeah. the Jordan 11 Concords. Like they just I'm came not out. I'm a Jordan fan. I'm just not. Yeah, like, yeah, I, 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 like, I like Jordan to a certain extent. I never watched them play because I wasn't born. But I, I like his shoes. Like, I don't like all of them, but mm -hmm. I like a couple of them. Like, I'm all over with shoes. But mm -hmm. those ones I always wanted because I like the design and the style of them. Yeah. Like, when I, when I was younger, they had, they came out, but, you know, uh, so people like to wait outside the stores and buy them, and I'm not doing that. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, people so. fight over shoes and, like, Ain't that serious? Like I like the shoe, but I ain't gonna have to fight nobody for them. <clears throat> well, mine is you know I like I like my Pandora charms, my little Pandora. <laughs> I want some more charms, and I want to start another bracelet. I got my necklace too. I need to put a few more little charms in there too. Um, I want a real camera to vlog, so I want to just keep using my phone. And I'm not gonna say Bath and Body Works. That's a given. I I love Bath and Body Works. If I get that for Christmas, I'm fine with that too. Yeah, I want some Uggs. That's what I want. Some Uggs. Some Uggs. Yep. I don't care what color. I just want some Uggs. The ones with the little bow on the back. Uggs. Okay. Yeah. Those would be my my Christmas. Now I'm pulling up here at the mall. Where are all these people come from? Don't nobody work during the week. <laughs> I guess they have the same idea I do. What the world? I guess this this is the last full shopping week before Christmas. So some people here getting their shop on. Like me, but I'm surprised. It's a lot of people to be a week weekday, right? Monday, yeah, right? <laughs> I'm worried. Okay. Well, we're probably gonna end this vlog because we gotta go in this store and finish some Christmas shopping. And we will hit y'all back up later.